Hello and welcome to the next weekly ramble video. Today uh, I don't have a ton to talk about but a few interesting topics that I do want to mention. Uh, if you don't know what this series is by the way it's basically where I just very level-headedly talk with you guys about interesting stuff going on with the channel as well as just magic in general. Uh, we've actually got a lot of good news from magic, uh, excuse me, from wizards over the last week so I do want to talk about some of those things as well as some exciting spoilers. Uh, but before we get into that, I do just want to mention really quickly, uh, if you notice, we did not have a Tuesday deck tech this week. I do apologize, but if, as you may notice behind me and all around me, uh, I'm in a new place. So I've actually been moving. I've sort of talked about this pretty openly over the last week. Um, and so I just haven't had the time. I do apologize. We should be back on schedule next week. I've already scripted most of the next one out. Uh, I just didn't get a chance to record it and actually edit that video. So again, I do apologize, but we will be back on schedule. I do have a conference coming up with my job, uh, where I will be traveling to Germany, uh, pretty soon, actually, uh, in the next two weeks. I'm going to do my best to pre-record just to make sure everything goes up without any hitches. Crack of Packs and Podcasts will be taken care of for sure. The weekly ramble probably won't be, unfortunately, unless I can get some time in my actual hotel room. Uh, but the deck tech, I'm not really sure of. I'm going to do my best to pre-record if I get that time. So, again, I apologize in advance if we don't get that up, but we will do our best to do so. All of that aside, though, we should actually be on track. Will's just been on vacation uh, for the past week, which has kind of put us behind on top of the move. So, it's just a bad week, unfortunately. But uh, we should be back on track pretty soon, so no worries there. Again, I do apologize for any missed videos, but excuse me. Um, I do want to talk about a lot of interesting news that has come out recently. Uh, the spring update finally dropped, and we got some interesting announcements. Uh, we are returning to returning to Ravnica. Uh, so for the third time, we're going to go back to Ravnica. I'm actually really excited about this. I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about it, but Ravnica is probably my favorite plane of all of them. Uh, it's, it's very flavorful. I like the city aspect. I like the guild aspect. Multicolored is just a really, really strong thing in my mind. I, I just like the idea of that mixing. Um, Demir, whoo. Uh, but anyway, I really, really like Ravnica. I'm excited to go back to it. So hopefully this is going to be a really exciting thing. I do, I, I'm a little worried that they might kind of mess it up, but, um, I will say the original Ravnica, fantastic. Obviously, very, very few bad things to say about it. As a draft format, it was great. Uh, Return to Ravnica as a full set was probably a little worse, but um, the draft format was actually really fun. If you didn't get to draft during either of those times, I promise you, you will enjoy it if you can go back to it. Actually, Return to Ravnica packs are not too expensive. You can go back and pick some of those up and just give it a shot with your friends. It's really, really a fun set. Not too much value in the set overall that has lasted. There's a few really good cards, obviously. Things like Sphinx's, Re uh, Sphinx's Revelation, excuse me, Supreme Verdict. All really, really great cards. Uh, Abrupt Decay is in there. But unfortunately, it just it didn't hold the value uh, that some of the cards from Original Ravnica did. Original, excuse me. Um, but that being said, it's still really, really fun. I would highly suggest picking some up uh, if you can. Uh, if you can pick up original Ravnica, go for it. But Dark Confidant puts those prices really high up there. So uh, it's a little bit higher and uh, less accessible. But uh, as far as returning to the return to Ravnica, we are in October, October 5th specifically. We're going to be getting Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, and then in January of 2019, we'll actually be getting Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, so two new sets so far. Um, I believe they've hinted at a third, if not already announced it. I might be wrong about that. Uh, but they are putting out, uh, I believe, and I'm looking at the, the article because I don't want to mess this up, but they're putting out little guild packs. Uh, and I don't know specifics on those. I believe they're 60 card decks. They're guild kits, excuse me. 60 card decks flavored with whatever guild you picked. Uh, so if you don't know, there's 10 of them. It's all two color uh, 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 combinations, excuse me. And so you can actually pick up a basic deck uh, of 60 cards for each guild if you want. Um, and again, Demir is the best. Go with Demir. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm actually really, really excited about this. I think it will be pretty fun. Um, I, I just hope that they do it right. That's the only worry I have uh, because it is Ravnica. I just don't want them to mess it up. So Wizards, don't do anything weird. Please just make it good. Uh, but moving on. Very quickly, I do want to talk about Battle Bond as well. We've gotten a lot of new spoilers. Really quick, I just want to say I am recording this a couple days in advance, so we probably will get a few more spoilers 
uh, between the time of recording and the time of releasing this video. If I do miss a few, I apologize. I'm just going to work with what I have. But we are getting some really, really good reprints I want to talk about first. Uh, the first of which, Doubling Season. At Mythic Rare, if you don't know what Doubling Season is, you really should. It is a hugely, hugely powerful card. Uh, sees a lot of play in Commander and actually some fringe play in Modern as well. Uh, it's just hugely, hugely strong. It basically doubles all of tokens, all of, uh, what is it? So tokens under your control, it creates twice that many tokens instead. If an effect would put one or more counters on a permanent, put twice that many on that permanent instead. So Planeswalkers, you can ultimate immediately. There's a fringe modern deck uh, that's basically doubling season with Planeswalkers, and you can ultimate them immediately. It's insane. Uh, super, super strong. Really excited to see that. Finally, we're getting that reprint because that card is really high in price. Uh, so hopefully this is going to dip it down at least a bit. It isn't Mythic Rare, so it's not going to like tank the price completely. Uh, but it is, it's is—it's going to help, I believe. So, happy with that. The next one I want to talk about very quickly is True Name Nemesis, which has really only seen one printing, I believe, in a Commander. Uh, I don't know if it's 2013. I might be wrong. Uh, but it was a Commander product. That was the only time it was played. If you don't know about this card, it's insane. So, basically, you choose a player when it comes into play, and True Name Nemesis has protection from that player. So they just can't do anything about it. They have to make you do something about it, like sacrifice, do all kinds of weird stuff just to get rid of it. Hugely, hugely strong in Legacy. Uh, prob I, I don't know for sure, but I do believe it sees some play in Vintage. Correct me if I'm wrong, if any of you Vintage players know for sure. Uh, but it definitely sees a lot of Legacy plays. Sultai decks love this. Uh, it's just hugely, hugely strong. It's very difficult to deal with. Uh, again, at Mythic Rare, so we're not going to see a ton of them, but hopefully, again, it'll drop that price down just a bit. Uh, land Tax is in here. Uh, again, at Mythic, Land Tax is great. We're also getting things like Tide Spout Tyrant, which is a staple in some combo decks. I believe it's, I think it's Food Chain, Legacy Food Chain, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, very interesting, very powerful card, so happy to see that as well. Um, Interesting new things that are in this set. We've got a few new mechanics that I wanted to talk about. So the first is assist, actually. I want to bring that one up first. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It basically says that any other player can pay up to a certain amount. It could be X. It could be a certain amount based on the card. Uh, but they can pay a certain amount of mana to help you play that card. Uh, and the idea behind this, if you don't know, Battle Bond is a team format. It's two-headed giant. So you and a player get to sh basically share information and so you can say, hey, I will help you play that spell because it's going to help us dig out of this position or it's going to help us win the game. Uh, and so the idea here is that you can actually work with another player, your teammate, ideally, uh, and actually just make sure that you can play the spells and hopefully ramp these things out a little bit quicker. Uh, it's interesting. It's a really cool mechanic. It kind of breaks the rule into it, a giant that, uh, generally speaking, you can't tap mana for your, your, your teammate spells, excuse me, uh, but assist is a way of actually making that happen. So I, I, I really like that. I think that's really cool. The other mechanic I want to talk about is partner with is sort of the, the mechanic here. Uh, it's really interesting. So basically two creatures can be partnered together. They're specific to those creatures. So for instance, Will Kenrith and Rowan Kenrith are two new planeswalkers that we see in this deck, or excuse me, in this set. And they are partnered with each other. So if one player on your team plays one of these cards, the other player on the team gets to pull out the other card. So for instance, if Will and I were on a team and Will played Will Kenrith, I would get to dig through my deck and if I have a Rowan in my deck, I can put it into my hand. Uh, so it basically fetches out for the other player. It's a really, really interesting mechanic. Again, a great team building kind of an aspect to it uh, and hugely powerful, I believe. We'll see how this actually plays out, but I do think it will be pretty powerful. Um, I like this mechanic, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, I will say. Um, I think it's interesting. I am I could be wrong, and it might be the best thing in the world. I don't know yet. I'm going to reserve my judgment until I can actually play Battle Bond uh, in a few weeks. So it does look pretty good, though. Uh, overall, is the set, it looks great. I will say the art in the set is not my favorite. It's a little, like, standard. Uh, and again, I don't pull up cards on, on the weekly rambles or anything like that, but if you look at the art for doubling season on Mythic Spoiler or any other, uh, spoiler site, it's just kind of plain. Um, I don't know. It's not that exciting. I do like the idea that they had with the partner cards. 
Uh, so for, for instance, Will and Rowan, um, if you look at the cards themselves, on Will's card, he's sort of in the foreground, and then Rowan's in the background. And then if you look at Rowan's card, it's sort of reversed. She's in the foreground, Will is in the background. And I like that idea, right? Like, it's cool that you, you get this other aspect of them actually being partners. You get this visual aid for that sort of a thing. Uh, the art style, though, is just not my favorite. It's, I, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of interesting. I actually watched a video uh, earlier today, in fact, from Unsleeved Media, who, uh, regardless of what you think of him, he's not my favorite person, but uh, I do agree with him on the art that it just looks a little too kind of standard, too computer-generated. Uh, a little bit gimmicky, just not my favorite. So um, looking aside from that, though, I think the set's actually looking pretty, pretty good at this point. Uh, again, we don't have tons spoiled yet, but we do have a decent amount. There's a lot of good commons and uncommons so far. We've got Chain Lightning, Swords to Plow Shares, Sower of Temptation, which is really interesting, uh, as well as a few other cards like Impulse, which is just a good card. Peregrine, Dr Peregrine Drake is an interesting one as well. Uh, so we've got some interesting cards. I really, really hope that this ends up being a great set. It looks like it will be good no matter what. I just hope that... I, I, I should say I just wish that the art was a little bit better. Last little thing I wanted to talk about about this. There is a new card, uh, Arena Rector, in this set. It's not legal in Modern or Standard or anything like that, obviously. But in Legacy and Vintage and even Commander, this will be viable. Uh, it's a 1-2 for 4, which seems a little steep three and a white, but when it dies, you search your library for a Planeswalker card and put it straight onto the battlefield. That is huge. That is a game changer for Planeswalker uh, Super Friends decks. So interesting to see how this works. You can actually fetch out any Planeswalker you want and just immediately play it. I think that's great. It might even be one of those cards that you play and try and kill on your own turn, just so then you can actually activate your Planeswalker instead of having this die in combat and then letting your opponent have a chance to respond on their turn. Uh, it might be, I, I mean, I don't know exactly how this is going to play out, but it looks to be a very powerful card. It isn't Mythic Rare, so that kind of hints at it, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see what's going to be in the rest of this set, because so far it looks pretty sweet. So with that, though, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about this time. There are a lot of interesting things going on in the world of Magic right now. We will do our best to keep you updated on all of them. Uh, finally, we're moved in though, so hopefully we can get back on schedule with everything. So hopefully we'll we'll continue to po to to boost out content uh, as much as we can. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this weekly ramble. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, stay up to date on all of our awesome content. We've got a lot of, a lot of it coming at you every single day of the week, and in fact on the weekends in some cases. So enjoy it. Hopefully you guys will subscribe. But until the next video, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.